Hello, everybody. Um, if you are elsewhere on property and would like to see our giraffe Ozzy paint, we are going to get started on his painting demo here. You're painting a t-shirt. Um, and hello, everybody on uh, the internet. Uh, we are live streaming right now. Uh, so we are going to be painting a t-shirt. What size is that? Youth medium. So Ozzy does have a lot of completed work inside of the gift shop. Um, that's also his art gallery. Ready? I know we're starting with your favorite in honor of Barbie. <laughs> there we go. Um, so he does have a lot of completed work in there, different size t-shirts, different colors. Um, so this one I don't believe has been called for. So if you do end up liking it, feel free to talk to Melody in there. You can uh, look into purchasing it. But we don't like broccoli today. Okay. Maybe we'll do some apple and oat biscuits instead. Ozzy can be quite the picky eater. How about cookies? There we go. That's much better. Um, so Ozzy here is our nine-year-old male reticulated giraffe. And as a reticulated giraffe, the height that you see Ozzy right now, that is about as tall as we expect him to get. But when Ozzy was born, he already stood about six feet tall. So already taller than me as a newborn giraffe. He has grown quite a bit since then though. Does anyone want to shout out a guess on how tall you think Ozzy is right now? What do you guys think? 19 feet, any other guesses? I heard 28. Not quite, a little bit shorter than that. He might not uh, fit in the barn too well. But let's see, just in case, just in case Ozzy had a uh, growth spurt on us since the last show, let's ask him. Ozzy, they have a great question for you. How tall are you? Thank you. So he does stand about 17 feet tall if he's standing up all the way straight. Sometimes he likes to hide it a little bit. I'm trying the broccoli again. There we go. He's being a very good role model for the kids today. Ozzy does love his veggies. So uh, 17 feet tall. That is going to help them out in the wild get their favorite treats. So typically those are going to be leaves from the acacia tree. Ozzy does have access to over 100 of those on the outside of his fence line in his yard. His yard does extend on both sides of his barn here. So lots of nice snacks, but his tongue is also going to help him to reach those as well. If you didn't notice, Ozzy does have quite the long tongue. Can we see it again? There we go. So in total, Ozzy's tongue does extend about two feet long and it is fully prehensile. Prehensile is just a fancy way of saying grasping. That means that Ozzy can use his tongue pretty much like a hand to grab onto things and manipulate things. You'll see him use his tongue to grab onto the paintbrush here. If he's munching on those trees, you can see it kind of wind around the branches to get all the leaves off. And if I am not paying attention, Ozzy loves ponytails, sunglasses, hats, pretty much anything within arm's reach. Looks like Ozzy is doing some manicures today too. Good job. There we go, much better. He's very talented. He does do uh, hair streaking, face painting and manicures if we're not paying attention. And you might have also noticed with his tongue, it has a nice dark purple color to it. That is due to the extra melanin in his tongue and it acts as a natural form of sunscreen for Ozzy. Giraffes are gonna spend up to about 20 hours a day eating, which is a very, very long time that those tongues are exposed to the sun. And without that dark color there, he would be at a risk of a sunburnt tongue, which does not sound very pleasant. I'm sure broccoli doesn't taste quite as good with the, with the sunburn on his tongue. Um, and I know a lot of you fed him today too. You might have noticed a very rough texture of his tongue. He has a nice keratin coating to protect it from thorns, as well as a very sticky saliva that has antiseptic properties to it, which will prevent any infections from forming if he does happen to get a cut on his tongue. A lot of really good adaptations to make sure that Ozzy can continue to eat throughout the day. A big uh, giraffe of Ozzy's size is going to need to eat about 60 to 80 pounds of food every single day. And that is all vegetation. He's a very strict herbivore. He's only going to eat plant material. That is in contrast to our lions on property who are carnivores. And out in the wild, Ozzy, close your ears, they will try to go and eat those giraffes sometimes. So they have to be very, very careful out there. And one way that they do that is in the way that they sleep. Giraffes are actually gonna sleep standing up with their eyes wide open to make it seem like they are wide awake, ready to go. They can get a speedy getaway if they need to. And he's only gonna sleep for about five to 10 minutes at a time for only about 30 minutes to an hour a day. That is it. So not a ton of sleep because they are spending so much time uh, eating or looking for food. I definitely could not have that sleep schedule. Good job. Oh, he likes pink all of a sudden. <laughs> So we definitely have to worry about uh, lions out in the wild, but 
unfortunately, that's not the only thing that giraffes are worried about. And that is why Ozzy has such an important role here, acting as an animal ambassador for wild giraffes. Right now, they are undergoing something called a silent extinction. And it's called that because not a lot of people are talking about it. Not a lot of people know that it's happening. But some giraffe populations have been decimated by about 80% in the last few decades. And unfortunately, that's due to humans. So human encroachment, habitat loss, and poaching play a big role in their decline. And we are at a risk of losing these guys for good. So if you do take anything away from Ozzy's show today, not only is he just the cutest, most talented giraffe you have ever seen, but there's only one appropriate way to shoot a giraffe, and that is with your camera. So we love when you guys take lots of photos and videos of him and post those to social media. You can tag the Lion Habitat Ranch or Ozzy the Painting Giraffe and just help spread the word about that tough time that they're going through. So hopefully we can see some improvements in their populations pretty soon. It would mean a lot to us and Ozzy here. Good job. What do we think? All right. Hello. Uh, Jeanette Martin says, hello, Ozzy. Oh, Jeanette says, hi, Ozzy. Can you wave hi to her? <laughs> We love our followers on uh, social media. If you guys aren't following us already, you get plenty of uh, animal content on there. I highly recommend that you're on pretty much every platform. So definitely follow us for some cute videos. Ozzy is very popular on there as well. So if you uh, want to see more of Ozzy after you guys leave today, I highly recommend following us on there. Uh, but uh, for now, do you guys like what Ozzy painted today? Do you want to give him a huge round of applause? He knows exactly what that means. And as a big thank you, we'll see if Ozzy wants to give you a nice big bow. Good job, Ozzy. And we want to thank you guys so much for coming out today, too. We are a nonprofit, so that means every dollar that you spend here, your general admission to come in, anything inside of the gift shop, including Ozzy's artwork, uh, feeds with Ozzy or lion feeds if you're feeling extra brave. Um, all that money goes directly back to the care of our animals. So thank you so much for your support, and we hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.